All right, so I have just got back from watching the latest vampire movie, I guess, uh, The Last Voyage of the Demeter. So I was actually looking forward to this, which is weird for me because I'm not a big fan at all of scary movies, and this is definitely a scary movie, but I am a big fan of this type of vibe. I love the gothic horror genre, and it's a big thing. A lot of these books were written in the late 1800s, early 1900s. For some reason, I really dig the vibe. The, your Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, your Draculas, your Frankenstein. I love the Frankenstein book. Uh, Dorian Gray, all of these really old gothic novels. I really dig the vibe. It may just be the literature nut in me, but so I wish that there were more movies that took place within this time frame. More modern movies, I should say. There's a lot of old movies that do. So I was excited to see a movie, a big budget movie come out that takes place in the middle of Bram Stoker's Dracula novel, particularly the one where they're on the Demeter, where Dracula's on the Demeter. So I decided to go watch it, really looking forward to it, hoping to see the get the vibe that I was looking for, and I'm pleased to say I did get that vibe. I did get the really cool gothic vibe of some otherworldly being uh, stalking these people by night that we do get in the novel. Unfortunately, even though this is a very great vibe movie, if that's the type of vibe you're looking for, the kind of spooky gothic vibe, even though that's great, it's not a very good movie in terms of surprises. Everything that you think is going to happen, happens. Uh, with one exception that I won't spoil, but yeah, essentially the stuff that you think is going to happen to a certain character, that's exactly what happens. What do you think a certain character is going to say or do? That's what's going to happen. What do you think a character arcs is going to a character's arc is going to be? That's the arc that they're going to have. There's no twists or turns in this movie at all. And weirdly enough, I think this move one of this movie's biggest detriments is its beginning. It's opening, like the first like three minutes or so, really does damage to the overall suspense of the movie. Because if you've read the book, you know what happens, but that's true of like almost any movie ever made. There's usually a book that it's based off of, and if you've read it, you know it's gonna what's gonna happen, and that usually doesn't ruin it for you because you're a fan of the book if you're watching the movie most of the time. But there are those who watch movies that haven't read the book, and this movie kind of spoils itself in the first three minutes. Now, if you haven't read the book, I won't spoil it here, but if you do go watch this movie and you see the first three minutes, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The movie basically spoils itself, which is unfortunate because after the first three minutes, you're just waiting to see how we get to the point where the movie opens. And you know what's going to happen because you've seen the first three minutes. So on that level, it was disappointing to me because there wasn't that edge, that suspense that I was hoping for because the movie just kind of seems to just drag along, just doing what we expect it to do and what we know it's going to do. And so because of that, there's nothing shocking. There's nothing surprising. No twists or turns. So at the end of the day, if you are a fan of the novel Dracula or you like this type of alien-esque uh, sort of paranoia where a bunch of people are stuck somewhere and there's this being, this monster, killing them one by one, then you'll probably enjoy this movie. But it's nothing revolutionary. It's not, it's not as good as Alien by a long shot, but it is a good time. Not rewatchable at all because once you watch it, there's really no need to see it again, but it is a fun time at the movies if this is your thing. Um, this isn't going to sway you either way if this isn't your thing. I would recommend you stay away from it, but yeah, so kind of a mixed bag for me. Um, I hope we get more movies that have this type of vibe with the gothic genre because I really enjoy that. So hopefully this movie does well so we get stuff like that. 
But yeah, so go check out The Last Voyage of the Demeter and see for yourself.